Hello everyone, this is Siddharthan. Welcome to my YouTube channel and in this video, I am going to explain you how to handle missing values in a data set when it comes to machine learning and data science. Okay, So there are mainly two methods to handle missing values. So those methods are nothing but imputation and dropping. Okay, So these are the things which we are going to cover in today's video. Okay, So we will be doing this Python code in Google Collaboratory. So Google Collaboratory is an environment in which you can run Python programs. Okay, So we will be taking a sample a data set for our processing so i am taking a placement data set so which contains several uh, parameters like what is the higher secondary the person has studied and what is the percentage they scored in higher secondary and uh, you know what field they have studied in their undergraduate and such kind of things and based on all those features uh, we need to predict what is the salary they may get okay so this is about the this placement data set okay so this data set contains some missing values and i'm going to explain you how you can handle those missing values so before starting with today's video i would like to give you a quick introduction about my channel so in youtube i am making a hands on machine learning course with python so you can see this course curriculum video in this i have explained about all the modules and the videos which we are going to discuss in my channel and you can also download the course curriculum file from here so it is given in the description of this curriculum video okay so you can also head towards this playlist page so in this machine learning course i have already completed three modules the first module was on machine learning basics the second module was on python basics for machine learning and the third module is on some important libraries which we need for machine learning okay so in this module i have explained about the modules uh, the mo libraries such as numpy pandas matplotlib cbonds etc okay so i have also made some machine learning project videos so do check out this videos okay so currently we are in the fourth module about handling missing values okay so th this fourth module is on data collection and processing and this is the third video in this fourth module okay so if you are new to google collaboratory you can just go to this second module which is python basics for machine learning and here in this 2.1 video i have explained about google collaboratory basics on how to how you can get access to google collaboratory and what are the various features in google collaboratory okay so with that being said let's start with today's videos so as i have told you earlier there are two methods to handle missing values imputation and dropping so where does this missing values come okay so i hope you know that in machine learning or data science we use data sets so and this data set is used to train our machine learning model and once our machine learning model is trained with this data set it can make new predictions and that data set may contain a lot of missing values and we cannot feed this data set with missing values to our machine learning model so we need to replace all those machine learning uh, you know all those missing values okay so that is what we are going to see in this videos okay so this is the sample data set we have so i'll give the link for this data set in the description of my video and so let's uh, get started i'll just make a text here as importing the libraries so we may need some basic libraries for this so importing the libraries so let's import pandas as pd so pandas library is useful for you know making pandas data frame so pandas data frame are nothing but structured table okay so we also need matplotlib matplotlib.pyplot.splt so these are just the general convention the short form for uh, importing the libraries so we will just plot the values and see which method we can use so that's the reason for importing this matplotlib let's also import cbon so cbon is also another data visualization library which is used to make some plots and graphs okay so let's import cbon as sns so i'll run this you can press shift plus enter to run this cell and go to the next one okay so now we have this csv file we need to load the csv file to a pandas data frame so just go here so you can see this options button here so go there and you can copy the path from here okay so once you have downloaded the data set you can just uh, when you are in this google collaboratory you need to connect your system from here and after that just go to this files option and you can upload the data set from here so you can give this upload option or just right click so you will find this upload option and then upload this placement data set which you will you know find the link in the video description so i have copied the path of this file now let's load it to our pandas data frame so loading the data set to a pandas data frame okay so i'll create a variable called as data set and we are going to use the function pd.readcsv so as you know i have imported pandas as pd so dataset is equal to pd.readcsv 
So this read CSV will read the CSV file and load the content into our data frame. So we have already copied the path. So I'll paste the past, you know, the path here inside the codes. So let's run this. Okay, so this will create a data frame. You can see the first five rows of this data frame using the yet function. So mention the data frame name, which is in this case, it's data set because we are loading the data frame in this, uh, you know, variable. So data set dot yet. So this will give us the first five rows. So as you can see here, we have several columns. So first column is on the serial number. Then it's the gender, whether the person is male or female. Then this, this represents the uh, secondary school percentage. And this is the secondary school board, whether they have studied in central board or state board, such kind of things. Then we have the higher secondary percentage board. And what is the, you know, stream they have st uh, studied whether it's commerce science arts etc so we have then we have this degree and such kind of things and we have the work experience whether the person has work experience or not so such kind of things and finally we have this salary and we also have whether the person is placed or not and also we have salary okay so the idea behind this data set is to you know using all these features you need to predict the salary of the person but that is not what we are interested so we are interested in you know uh, finding a good method to replace the missing value so you can see this thing here so it represents nan so nan represents not a number okay so these are missing values and we need to replace this missing values before feeding to our machine learning model okay so now let's see how many rows and columns are there in our data set so basically we are going to see how many data points we have so you can check that by mentioning the data frame name which is data set dot shape so this gives us the number of rows and columns okay so totally we have 215 rows and 15 columns now let's see how many missing values are there in you know each column so mention the data frame name which is data set dot is null so this is null function gives us the number of missing values and we are going to find it for the all columns so as you can see here there are no missing values in this serial number column gender column so we have only missing values in this salary column okay so there are about 67 values missing in this 215 values okay so there are totally 215 rows and in those 215 rows about 67 uh, you know salary values are missing okay so there are two methods as i have told you earlier one is imputation and the second method is dropping dropping is nothing but just dropping or deleting all the rows which has missing values okay but this is not an efficient way to do this you know when you have a very large data set say you have uh, you know 20,000 data points 30,000 data points or you know uh, lakhs of data points in those cases you can just drop the missing values so it won't be a very big factor but when you have a very small data set like 200 300 or within 1000 dropping the missing values is not an ideal method so that's where we will use imputation okay so Imputation is nothing but using some proper statistical values and replacing these uh, missing values with those statistical values. So those statistical measures are nothing but mean, median or mode. Okay. So these three terms mean, median, mode are also called as central tendencies. So central tendencies. Okay. So first one is median sorry the first one is mean so i'll explain you about what is meant by this mean median and mode as well so second is median third is mode okay so i hope you know what is meant by mean mean is nothing but it's the average of all the values so let's say that we have a data set so that data set contains the values one two three four and five so mean is nothing but the average of all the values so we just count all the values so it's nothing but three plus three six and uh, 6 plus 4 10 15 so 15 by 5 so the mean of this particular data set is 5 right so sorry the here the mean is nothing but 3 so mean is nothing but the average value now let's see what is meant by a median so when you have a data set what we will do is we will arrange the values in ascending order so here the values are already in ascending order then we will take the middle value and this middle value represents the median of that data set okay so it's nothing but the middle values once you arrange it in the ascending order so when you have even number of uh, data points let's say we have six values right so here the middle we have two middle values three and four right so in this case what we will do is we will find the mean or average of these two values so here the average is nothing but 3.5 and we will take that as median and mode is nothing but it's the number which has the most frequency let's say the data set as one two three 
3 and 5, 6 and 3. So this is the data set we have. Here the number 3 is repeated 3 times. Okay, So here mode is nothing but the number which is repeated for most number of times. Okay, So here the mean is nothing but the average of all the values and median is nothing but the central value and mode is nothing but the number which is you know repeated for several times. So these are called as important central tendencies in statistics and it's often a good method or a good way to you know instead of dropping the rows which have missing values but you know it's not a very good method to drop the rows but instead we can impute the values the missing values with you know any of these central tendencies okay so but there are actually uh, you know cases where we need to use mean where we need to use median and where we can use mode okay so let's try to understand when we can use these values by first plotting them okay so we cannot just use mean in all the missing values in all the cases in all the data sets so i'll explain you when you need to use mean and when you need to use other things such as median or mode so for that we need to plot this uh, salary column so we need to find how this value is distributed okay so now we are going to analyze the distribution of data in a so in the salary column okay so we just want that one column because that column alone contains missing values okay so i'll create two variables figure and axis so this is how we need to create a uh, plots in matplotlib and seaborn so plt so plt is nothing but matplotlib library so you know i have imported matplotlib.pyplot as plt so we use this plt function to make some plot so we are going to use subplots function okay and here we need to mention the figure size we want okay so i'll mention the figure size to be maybe 8 comma 8 so you can give any values you want it is just the dimension of the plot so now we are going to use the seaborn library so we have imported seaborn library as sns and now we are going to create a distribution plot okay so this plot which represents distribution plot and you need to mention the data which you uh, which you are going to plot so we are going to plot this salary column right so in this data set uh, you know we have we have named this data frame as data set and we are going to print you know uh, plot the salary column so we need to mention it here in the parenthesis so sns dot this plot and in the parenthesis mention data set dot salary okay so now let's run this and see what is the distribution of the values as you can see here so this is the salary value so 2 into 10 power 6 which it basically represents you know uh, 2 lakhs this represents 4 lakhs and such kind of things so you can see here that the value is more around this you know 2.5 right but there are you know one or two values uh, you know more than uh, 6 lakhs we have one value on around uh, 6.5 lakhs and one value around 9 lakhs so the data is very dis you know highly distributed in this particular area but we have some outliers these are some outliers so when you have these kind of outliers and we have the data distributed in only one side this kind of curve is known as skew okay so this distribution is known as skew and in these cases we cannot use mean values for replacing the missing value so we cannot use mean in this cases because when you have these uh, outliers this will increase your mean value so i'll just explain you with an example so in a college you know there are uh, 10 people placed and out of the 10 people eight of the people have got placed with an average salary of about uh, you know 3 lakhs per annum and two people have placed uh, you know placed about 10 lakh per annum when you get the mean of the entire uh, salary it won't be a very good data set okay because like it will uh, affect the overall mean because we have two outliers right so in these cases we cannot use the mean so when we have this kind of skew distribution in those cases we will use either median or mode as our uh, you know replacement for the missing values okay but when you have an you know almost normally distributed values where you have uh, values distributed in all the magnitude in such cases we can take mean as our replacement for our missing value so in this case as the distribution is more on one side as we get a skew curve we are going to replace the missing values with median or mode okay so now let me tell you how you can replace the missing values with median so we are going to i'll make a text here replace the missing values with median value so we are just taking the salary column alone 
so median value so median value is nothing but so once we arrange it on the ascending order it's the middle value okay so mention the data frame so here the data frame name is nothing but data set mention the column so here the column is salary okay so this salary column dot fill na so this fill na function will you know fill all the missing values with so i'll just mention so fill na data set and in this data set in the salary column we need to find the median okay so in this entire column all the values will be arranged in the ascending order and the median value will be picked so we need to mention this salary column and we need to find the median of this salary column because we cannot find the median of uh, other columns and put it here we just need to find the median of this particular salary column okay so that's why i have mentioned it here so fill in a in that data set dot salary and in that i am getting the median value in place is equal to true okay so in place is equal to true so when you run this all the missing values will be replaced by this median value okay so let's run this so it's data set salary dot fill in a data set salary median okay so this has successfully run so now let's check the number of missing values so we have already checked the number of missing values and it showed that there are about 67 missing values in this particular uh, data set so i'll just copy this as we have uh, replace the missing values here now let's check whether there are any missing values great so you can see here now we don't have any missing values the number of missing values in each column is zero so this is how you can find the median of a data set and you know median of a particular column and replace the missing values with that particular median value okay so this is the line of code for that so in some cases when the distribution is normal when you know the values are distributed correctly so in that ca cases we will uh, replace it with mean so i'll also explain you how you can do that so this is filling missing values with mean value so previously we have seen how to fill it with median value this is about filling with mean value okay so i'll just copy this so it's it's actually the same thing the only change which you need to do is change this median to mode sorry uh, mean so median to mean okay because we are filling it with mean value right so when you run this your data set will be replaced this particular uh, missing values in the salary column will be replaced with mean value okay so i'll just uh, proceed it with hash no it's i'll just make it a comment okay because i don't want to fill with mean value so this is just to uh, tell you how to uh, fill the values with mean so when you replace median with mean so it will replace the missing values with mean value so if you want to do this you can just remove this uh, space and dash to run this particular line so i'll just comment it okay so this is how you can fill mean values in the missing items so i'll also show you how to do the mode so it is also the same thing you just need to replace this mean with mode okay so it's uh, very simple so this is about imputation so this is about how you can impute the missing values with the statistical st central tendencies like mean median or mode now let's see how we can drop the values so but it is not you know highly appreciated or highly supported to drop the values because the data set which we have is you know only 215 and when we drop the rows which has missing values 67 rows will be deleted so this is not you know supported i won't encourage to practice missing values much but you can do that when you have a very large data set and you have only one particular column which has missing values so you can do that in such cases okay but i'll also show you how you can drop but in this particular data set when you are practicing any machine learning uh, predictions don't drop the values so i'll just demonstrate to you how you can uh, drop the values so dropping method so i'll create another variable called a salary data set because i don't want to affect this particular uh, data set so we have already filled the values so i'll just create another uh, variable as salary data set so in this we are going to drop the missing values i'll again give the speedy dot read csv so i hope you remember that we have one second so we have used this read csv function i'll just copy this so we are just reading this again but we are storing it in an another instance okay so we are storing it in another instance another variable called a salary data set so i'll run this okay so you can check whether uh, you know first let's check the number of rows and columns so salary data set dot shape so this function will give us the number of rows and columns 
So we have 215 rows and 15 columns. Let's check the number of missing values. Salary dataset dot is null and dot sum. So it's telling us that there are 67 missing values. So let's say that we want to drop all the rows containing missing values. Okay. So I'm going to drop missing values. Okay. So um, I'll create a variable with the same name, which is salary data set. So salary data set is equal to again, mention it salary data set dot drop na. So it will drop all the missing values. So na represents not available. Okay. So drop na and oh, so I want all the values to be removed. So I'll mention this any. So any means, so I want to uh, remove any missing values that are present in the data frame. Okay. So all the rows containing those missing values will be removed. So let's run this. And now let's again check the number of missing values. Let's see whether the rows are removed. So now we will get that there are no missing values. So this is how you can drop, uh, you know, missing values in a data set. Okay. So if you check the shape of this particular uh, data frame shape, so we are getting that there are about 148 rows. So previously we had about 215 rows because 67 rows have been uh, removed from this data set. So this is how you can remove the missing values from your data set. So that is all about missing values. So we use two methods. One is imputation and the another method is dropping and we uh, use imputation in most of the cases and we drop the values when the number of data points in the data sets are huge and we can afford to you know drop the values in that cases. I hope you have understood about uh, handling missing values in this video. So I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.